We, it's always nice to be able to get outside, and, and again, we say it every year, we really, the, the turf is a huge advantage for us. Uh, it's definitely a lot better to be able to get out there on that, that surface than to be uh, stuck inside on a gym floor. Uh, so we've definitely utilized that as much as possible. Um, you know, the weather has been uh, fairly cooperative in terms of being able to get out on the turf. Uh, e even after some of the snow that we've had, we've been able to back that up with some warmer weather. So it really helped in, in getting the turf, the, the surface, uh, so that we can at least practice on it. And, and the teams really responded well from it. You know, we, we had a pretty good fall this year. We, we challenged our girls. We, we played a lot of uh, Division I schools in the fall. And so um, we really challenged them and they, and they bounced back well. They did a really nice job, competed in all those games. And so we were really excited coming into the season uh, just to see kind of where our growth is, you know, how much stronger we've gotten in the weight room and, you know, our conditioning levels and all those things. And to get out on the turf and be able to see that firsthand has been really nice, uh, you know, and, and we've really taken as much of an advantage of that as we could. I think it went good. Um, we struggled in the beginning with some of the conditioning and lifting segment of it, but throughout the weeks we progressed. Um, I think we've been very fortunate to have the turf, to get on outside on the turf and get a little bit of the turf feel before we went to Myrtle because down in Myrtle it was turf. Oh, it's really beneficial. Um, it helps us out pit, from pitching to catching to outfield, infield. It really shows us and gives us that live uh, action and it really is, makes a big difference in going from Myrtle Beach, coming back, knowing what we had to work on, and um, really focusing and really just getting that done it was really beneficial. I think it was kind of a reality check because we went down there thinking, oh, we're, we got this, we're good, we were working as a team, giving it all, but then going down and seeing these huge girls who we're playing against, it was kind of like a scare for us, but we did our best out there and we came back and knew what we had to work on. Yeah, our freshman class this year, we have um, Lexi Boffman is uh, one of our freshmen this year. Lexi is very versatile, going to give us a lot of uh, quality innings both defensively and, and as well as offensively. Uh, the next freshman is Jasmine Yamas. Jasmine um, is from California. She's a second baseman for us. Uh, she's kind of taken over the role of being our starting second baseman. Caitlin Whiteside, freshman pitcher again from California. Caitlin's going to be one of those kids that we're really going to lean on late in the year. Uh, so we're really excited for her. And then uh, we have uh, Sarah Coyne. Sarah Coyne's a kid from Delaware. Uh, we're really looking for her to really just provide some extra pop in the lineup. Um, she swings a really big bat. Uh, sophomore class, we have Danielle Bradley. Uh, Danielle's coming back from a, an all-conference season last year as an outfielder. Uh, Danielle was brought in. We recruited her as a pitcher. Uh, she still is a pitcher on our staff. However, she's athletic enough and she swings the bat well enough that we're just trying to find places for her on the field. Uh, Kira McCarthy uh, is a catcher, a uh, returning catcher for us last year. She called about maybe 10 to 15 games for us. And this year we're really leaning on her to come through um, and really be the one that has the most experience on our catching staff this year. And then last but not least on our sophomore class is Shannon Brantley. Uh, again, another kid that we recruited as a pitcher. Uh, but Shannon's so athletic and she provides so many different uh, opportunities for us in terms of offense and defense that we've actually converted Shannon into a catcher. She pitches and catches um, and she's, she's uh, really came through in the clutch down in Myrtle Beach with some, some big at bats in some situations. I think she has four RBIs at this point already in the season. Uh, junior class, we have Caitlin Slater returning um, as our, our third baseman. She, uh, she handled, handled that spot really well late in the year last year. Uh, big things coming from her this year for sure. Uh, next is Brooke Lachette. Brooke is uh, probably the ace of our pitching staff right now. She's the one that's returning with the most experience. Um, Brooke was a, a number two pitcher for us last year, and she's really proven that she can be that, that ace for us this year. So Colby Wyatt, returning all-region player, all-conference player, first baseman, um, swings a big bat, uh, has really, really worked extremely hard on her defense this year. And, and I think Colby's probably going to be one of those kids that we're going to be talking about late in the year for possible player of the year award. So, uh, Megan Brown is a transfer. She came in from a junior college and uh, Megan has really, she came in this year, she was a shortstop, she was an infielder. We pushed her to the outfield and um, you know she struggled early on figuring out how to play out there but now she's probably one of the most improved players on the team. And then last but not least in the junior class is uh, Rebecca Stanley, center fielder, probably one of the best defensive center fielders that I've coached. She's probably going to be the heart and soul of this team this year. Uh, we have two seniors this year. Um, Taylor Rizat is a returning senior for us that uh, played a little bit in right field last year, did some pinch running, hit for us from time to time. She's now locked that spot down in right field. And then we have Cambria Ziemba is um, 
the kid that's been in this program for four years and has really just you know, taking this team by the horn and, and she's guiding us and she's doing a great job both on and off the field. And uh, we did bump cam from second base, which is what she's played the last three years. She's now our starting shortstop. Um, offensively, he wants to do a lot of small ball game. I mean, we have three slappers starting um, the lineup and we're trying to have the lead off, start us off um, and continue because I know hits are contagious and I know offensively, if we get one going, we'll keep them all going and we'll go down the lineup like no other. I always like to say there's you know, three main phases of the game and it's it's offense, defense and pitching. And if we're above average in at least two of those three, we have a shot. And so for us, we just have to figure out what our identity is, figure out which two of those are we're going to really excel at. And then the one that maybe we're not so good in, we got to really work that much harder to get it up to the other two. So if we can do those things, I, I like our chances. Uh, I, you know, our conference has really, really um, uh, improved over the last year. I just just seeing some of the things that a lot of teams are doing now in the off season and and already in, in this early in the year, some teams have come up with some big wins. Uh, it just goes to show that it's not going to be easy for us, and we don't want it that way. We want it to be a difficult road, and we want our conference to be very good because if we plan on moving past that, we're going to be seeing good teams anyway. So we want it to be a dogfight every time we get on the field.